Message from the Angels, July 30, 2016 By Ann Albers Ann Albers, is a popular spiritual instructor, angel communicator, lecturer, and author. She is a traditional Reiki master and a modern mystic who delights in distilling ancient wisdom into practical, down-to-earth tools for modern living. To find out more go to, www.visionsofheaven.com The Angels My dear friends, we love you so very much. The Creator never intended for you to struggle. You were never designed to handle a challenge or manage your human lives alone. You were not given dreams to taunt you, nor were you given the power of higher thought to control you. Instead you were meant to acknowledge the heart, to use your minds to figure out how to support your dreams, and to exist in a beautiful dance between the two. You were designed to live in harmony within yourself, and with the rest of creation. Sadly, this is often not the case upon your planet Earth. The mind has usurped the heart's power. Like a bad marriage, in which one partner thinks him or herself to be of more value than the other, a relationship with yourself in which the head, negates heart is never pleasant. Nor conversely, is a relationship where the heart dreams but ignores the head, productive either. You are meant to live in a beautiful balance between the two. So when you have a dream, by all means learn what you need to learn. Do what you know to do. But then dear ones, when you feel you do not know the next step, when you have run out of options as you like to say, when you start to lose faith in yourself, or when you begin to tire, or lose passion for what you are doing, stop. This is not the time or place for the mind to take charge because now it will simply start to make itself busy by finding reasons to fear, reasons to push you, or reasons to fail. Instead, this is the time, once again, to drop into the heart. Ask yourself a simple question, heart what do you want to do now? Or God what do you want for me in this moment? The answer will almost always be simple and feasible, given the reality around you. Your mind may say, well I'd like to go on vacation now but I can't afford time off because I have get this business going, or I can't afford it because I lent someone money and they didn't pay me back, and that just goes to show you can't trust anyone, and down you go. The heart will say, I think I'd like to go for a walk. Call a friend. Shut my eyes and envision the best. Get a glass of water or eat so I can restore my energy. Look at vacations to fuel my dreams and give me incentive to work. Exercise a little. Go somewhere. Call someone. Simple things. The heart gives you guidance that is easily achievable in the moment. Your guidance is often so simple that the head negates it. That can't be of value. How can resting help my career when I have so much to do? I don't have time to exercise, eat, meditate, taking a little time for recreation can't get me closer to my goals. The head can always find good reasons to negate the simple guidance of the heart. Nonetheless, we ask you to experiment listening to your hearts. The Creator may be motivating you to do something to change your energy, where we are allowed to help you more clearly. You may be guided to do something that relaxes your mind enough so we can get through with new ideas. You may be guided to go somewhere that seems unrelated to your dreams, so you can meet someone who will help you. You are never alone. You are always loved. You are always guided. If you allow us to help you through your belief in love, then we would be honored to assist or help you hear your own hearts, follow your dreams, and live lives so much more joyful than you could even imagine. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels